Good morning, children. In earlier video, we have discussed about the <coughs> cubic polynomial. So now today we are going to solve the problems based on the cubic polynomial. Before that, you remember something like a sum of zeros: alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to minus b by a. Product. Sum of the product of zeros taken two at a time: alpha, beta, beta, gamma plus gamma alpha, c by a, and the product of zero, alpha, beta, and gamma e minus equal to minus d by a. So before solving the problem, you have to remember this one. Now, question is: if the zeros of the polynomial, if the zeros of the polynomial x cube minus 3 x square plus x plus 1 are A minus B, A and A plus B. Find A and B. Here the polynomial is x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 1. So we can write p x equals to x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 1. And the zeros are A minus B, A and A plus. So zeros are a minus b, a and a plus b. That's why alpha may be a minus b, beta a and gamma a plus b. So we have to solve to find a and b. B. We have three options. We may use alpha plus beta plus gamma, alpha beta beta gamma plus gamma alpha, or alpha beta. By taking alpha plus beta plus gamma, we get a minus b plus a plus a plus b. Since this is a cubic polynomial, that's why the sum of zeros of polynomial is minus b by a. Here in the polynomial, minus b minus in place of b, we can substitute. Minus three, and in place of a, in place of a, a is the coefficient of x cube. In place of b, we substitute one. Here plus minus we cancel. Three a minus minus plus equal to three equal to three a, and a equal to a equals to. Polynomial is of degree 
four. So the degree of the polynomial decides the number of zeros. So here the degree of the polynomial is four. That's why the number of zeros will be four. And two zeros are given. The rest of two zeros we have to find. So for that we remember this division algorithm. Dividend equals to division into quotient plus remainder. Already you know that if we divide a polynomial f x by g x, we get q x as quotient and r x as remainder. So please remember this one. So we have to use this property here. So here root two and minus root two are two zeros of the polynomial, and we have to find two more zeros. So we take the help of first two zeros. Since the root two is a zero of p x, it means x minus root two is a factor of p x by factor two. And minus root two is another zero therefore x plus root two is one of the factor one of the factor of polynomial yes yes so see x minus root 2 and x plus root 2 are the factors of polynomial it means the multiplication of x minus root 2 and x plus root 2 is also a factor of polynomial so we multiply x minus root 2 and x plus root 2 
one is another factor for the polynomial 2x to the power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2. Again, by middle term splitting method, we get the two other two factors of 2x, uh, 2x to the power 4 minus 3x plus 1. So we use middle term splitting method to get more zeros. 2x to the 2x square minus 3x plus 1 is another factor. Another factor of px. 2x square minus 2x minus x. By middle term splitting method, we get this one.